What's up, college football fans and Mean Green fans? Sonoy Valente here once again with the Mean Green Show. And today I'm joined with Tommy Bush. Tommy Bush is our big time pickup wide receiver out of Georgia. And we're going to get into, you know, what led to him choosing North Texas. But before we go there, you guys, you already know the drill. If you're a fan of college football, college football recruiting, G5 football, the transfer portal, consider hitting that like and subscribe button because that's really all we talk about. And, uh, you know, once again, uh, Tommy, you know, thanks again for coming on. And I know you're a busy guy. Are you are you in Denton currently? I know it's June 1st. Have you have you got up there yet? Uh, I haven't got up there. I'll be up there June 20th officially, but okay, I've had to start class today. Oh, so you're doing online class. Right. Yes, sir. How many hours are you taking this summer? Summer? Well, including I'm taking two from UGA right now, so nine in total. But for UNC, okay. one, I'm taking a marketing class. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Um, so those nine, well, th- th- those apply to your fall. So if you wanted to, hypothetically, you could only take three in the fall. Is that correct? Somewhat. I'm actually going to be going for my master's. So like in two weeks or like a week and a half, I'll have my bachelor's with these two main master classes I'm taking from UGA. Wow, wow. dude, that's crazy. So you're gonna yeah. you're gonna have your master's degree, and how many how many years of eligibility do you have left? I have three to play if I want it. Three to play potentially if you wanted to go three, man. You that is crazy. That's so yeah, cool. There's gonna be so many. <laughs> that's crazy, man. There's gonna be guys you know, playing football that are going to be working on their doctorates. That's, that's awesome. man. That's a great opportunity for those that, you know, choose to take advantage of that. So anyway, so kind of diving back, back into uh, the football side of things, you, you know, UNT, our record wasn't the greatest last year. However, you know, our offense, you know, we put up some, some pretty good numbers and I, you know, I know your transfer recruitment was pretty aggressive and, you know, pretty wild. So, <laughs> the numbers that, that you know, that UNT was able to put up and, you know, the success that Jalen Darden had in this offense, did that play a factor into your decision to ultimately come to UNT? Uh, it was huge. I mean, yeah, the record wasn't the greatest or anything like that, but I was more focused on the offense and the offense was elite. They were dominant. They were throwing up like 35 points a game. They only played nine games too. And for, for example, like Jalen, he had 19 touchdowns in nine games. Like they're clearly throwing the ball, and if you're catching the ball, you're making plays. It's clearly going to be showcased. Right. And so I truly trust what Coach Maynard's doing. The OC, like the players, they're all buying in, and then the family environment I get from them, like they truly, they're going to play hard. They're going to, they're going to do better than last year, in my opinion. Mm-hmm. Like I, I, I'm with I you. For the campus yet. Oh, you haven't even been to the campus yet? I haven't been to campus yet. And I could just, like, sense the environment, like, the family environment from all the players and the coaches. Like, I'm excited. That played huge. I wasn't focused on the record necessarily because if I was focused on the record, like, UGA, like, they're going to SC Championship. Yeah, sure. Yeah, that's cool and all. But end of the day, I'm coming there to have an impact on the offense. And if I can make the team better, then the record's going to get better regardless as long as I do my part. So, yeah, man, that's exciting stuff, man. As a North Texas exciting. fan myself, that's – yeah, I'm excited to hear that. Um, so, you know, what kind of wide receiver is UNT getting with you? You know, you're six foot five guy. What, what are you weighing these days? Um, usually around 200. Usually when I'm, like, in the football park and stuff, I'm, like, 203. You know, from okay. 205. Yeah, so but, you're two plus, six five guy. I mean, you're you're a big body guy, but, I mean, you can also – you you know, I, I've seen your film. I mean, you can – you know, you can fly. So, I mean, you know, what – what what's your game like? What you know? What are you? What are you bringing to the table here? Um, really, I see myself as doing it all. I know I've been blessed to, you know, be able to have some good speed, so I can take the top off the defense with all the deep routes. And I've worked hard enough to where I can stop on a dime and be able to make the end cuts, the benches, routes. Just I can do pretty much anything in the route tree. You know, I'm not really preferring one way or another. Like, just give me a route, and I'm just gonna run it. Mm-hmm. Do you do you feel like your game? Like if you had to select somebody in the NFL that your game is most similar to, who do you think that would be? So I really like Julio Jones and DK Metcalf. Mm-hmm. Because they're big body receivers. They they can move. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like they can do everything. And that's what I try to compare my game to because like I said, I've been blessed with the size and the speed and the agility. And just watching those guys, like they're they're running deep balls, they're running the most, like the best routes. Like a slot receiver can run, but they're doing that like six three, six five, and that's impressive, honestly. Yeah, absolutely. So you know, coming out of high school, you were, 
you know, highly regarded, highly rated four star wide receiver, and uh, pretty much, literally, you know, could could have gone anywhere. You, ultimately, you chose to go to Georgia. You know, how do you feel like being at Georgia? Your game has developed since since high school. For sure, the competition. I mean, going against like Eric Stokes, who just got drafted in the first round, and like yeah. he, like DeAndre Baker before that first round. Like you're going against first round talent every single day like there's no way you can't get better like from a mindset competing i've definitely gotten used to that just competing with the best and that automatically has made me play harder has made me run faster get stronger because i had no other choice if i wanted to be good right <clears throat> yeah and that's interesting yeah i mean with sec practices there's there's no hiding you know you're gonna it's no you, joke like <laughs> we were i made a joke with one of my teammates who was like if we played teams in like our indoor facility at practice, like we wouldn't lose a game because <laughs> we, like, yeah, we like we play hard against each other every yeah. single day. Like, we don't have a choice but to get yeah. better. Yeah, absolutely. So you're about to, you know, you were saying earlier about to have your bachelor's degree. What is your major in? I'm majoring in sports management, and then for oh, my master, I'm not sure yet. I'm kind of pursuing communications right now. Try to you be said like communications for your master's. master's? I actually, yeah, I majored in sports management too, man. So oh, really, <laughs> yeah, it's a good thing because, like, I'm interested in sports and things like yeah. that. But I've had to take like a few business classes, and mm -hmm. yeah, uh -uh. yeah, yeah, I hear that. <laughs> <No>. Yeah, <laughs> um, so let's talk about life after football. What do you think you might want to do then? Um, I'm interested in coaching actually, or definitely training on a side job. Mm -hmm just being like a weightlifting coach or receivers coach, obviously, since I've been doing it. Um, I've been interested in like sports agency, which is why I've been taking a couple of these um, law classes and learning yeah. contracts and stuff like that. I think a lot of our players in the NFL or like in college preparing for the NFL, they should be able to take those classes. You're going to be able to kind of navigate through the contract yourself instead of always relying on the agent. Mm -hmm. you have a little bit of knowledge of yourself in case they yeah. mess up. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Um yeah, couldn't agree more, man. That that's exciting. Um, so, okay, so how t talk me through this a little bit? You're obviously we, we we all know how the high school recruiting process goes, uh, but with the the transfer process, how did that work out? Like the transfer recruitment, if you will. How how did that go? You know what um what ultimately led led to you coming down to UN uh, UNT as well as UTSA and what led to the ultimate decision of you choosing UNT over UTSA? Cause I mean, UTSA, that's a good program as well. And, um, you know, we, th they are, but obviously I'm glad that you chose UNT. Okay. So transfer portal process, it was a little different. Actually, it was way different because one, I knew exactly what I wanted. So to kind of navigate through the schools was a lot more simple and easier for me. Um, the coaches knew what they wanted because I planned on grad transferring. And they were like, well, we're expecting you to come in to play. Like, what are you looking for? Blah, 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 blah. So it was a lot more straightforward. It wasn't a whole lot of like, check out our record this or what mm -hmm. we did last year and all this other stuff. It was like, we have such and so leaving. This is what we did with such and so. Mm -hmm. and I was like, okay, I like that. And I did my I did my research. They did their research on me. And it was just quick. Like schools, they would come at me really quick. But then they would like leave because clearly we weren't truly interested in what we wanted. So that's how that went. It went a lot faster and it was a lot more easy to understand what I want, except when it came down to UNT and UTSA. Yeah. So I like both of those teams like extreme. Like I have nothing bad to say about UTSA. Right, right. What led me to my final decision was one, I didn't want to be too close to home to where it kind of gave me like a high school environment, like my quarterback, the corners, the running. Like I all played with those dudes in high school. Like I was kind of looking for something more different in that aspect. Mm -hmm. And then another reason was the main reason. I just saw a better opportunity for me to thrive at UNT. I was looking at what Jalen was doing. The other receivers, they still produced quite a bit of oh, – yeah. like, they had good numbers considering the fact that two of the receivers were, like, injured for most yeah. of the season. They yeah. only played nine games. And then you have JD who's catching all these balls and stuff. So it's like they're still throwing the ball around. Mm -hmm. I, was like, I could see myself having the best opportunities in that on that team versus mm -hmm. UNT. Say. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Have you had an opportunity to to connect with either Austin Ani or Jace Reuter, the um, 
you know, any any of the quarterbacks yet? You, have you had I a, Austin, I believe, once. Jace, I've been talking to him for, like, months because I was wondering why he committed to UNT and then why he left North Carolina because I right. had a friend in North Carolina, Michael Carter, who just got drafted. Right. So I was asking, like, why'd you leave such a good program? Mm -hmm. and blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. And then I was telling him I was kind of close to picking either UTS or UNT, and I was like, what do you think about this? And it just kind of become like it just made us close. Like even now, we're talking about like living with each other and stuff like that. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. So me and him have been in constant contact. <clears throat> that's exciting, man. That's exciting. Mm -hmm. um, all right, man. Are you excited about the return of NCAA football? Man, it's too. Long. When was the last one? Like fourteen? <laughs> yeah, man. Fourteen. Yeah. yeah. That I'm excited because like the graphics and like the updated yeah. technology we have, like it's gonna yeah. be. So much better. I, yeah. I really don't mess it up. I really don't. Yeah, yeah I man, you're gonna. Happy for I, that. I know they're not gonna have it this season, but the following season, if you don't do, if you don't do one and, and go to the league with us at, at UNT, then you'll be in the next one. Right, like, be, in the crazy. Game. Like that's so awesome. <laughs> that is awesome. That is awesome. <laughs> that is cool. Update rosters from like seven on like a seven-year-old game yeah <laughs> yeah i know uh well hey man i i got one last question for you before i let you go on your twitter your profile it's vegeta what why vegeta man so you're a dragon ball z fan huge dragon ball like i watch anime every day yeah. um, what do you like about vegeta vegeta i never really was the person like like the main character like yeah. i never did that and then just vegeta i just like his attitude like he's yeah like, like aggressive and stuff like that and he's still powerful but they oh, did him yeah. so wrong in the show yeah so, they did <laughs> like, he's, he's next to like goku on like strength level yeah powers. but it's like he goes against people at the time that are like way more powerful than him mm -hmm. he's coming yeah. back he keeps getting yeah. strong fighting like i like that for some reason i don't know i just i love him man <laughs> well that's cool he was that's cool man. <laughs> well hey tommy uh you know once again i appreciate your time appreciate you coming on uh looking forward to uh seeing and following your career this season i know it's gonna be a lot of fun um so yeah once again man thank you best of luck this season no thank you for having me on here anytime <laughs> all right